My name is Kerry Rotto and I'm the Health and Safety Manager for Focus Construction Group in Henderson. We recently are the recipients of the Small Business category at the Safeguard National Health and Safety Awards. The category was one with an initiative called SWEAR, which stands for Safe Work Environment Rules, S-W-E-R, and it was about uh, bringing to the attention of our employees and our largely subcontracted labour force eight key risks that are involved within our industry. Commonly these eight key risks are overlooked and they include things like um, risk management, training and competency, working at heights, working with services, site presentation, manual and material handling and uh, access, um, so security and things like that. The initiative came about as uh, between the different sites that we had, there was different supervisors, different subcontractors and there wasn't a level of consistency in the safety message that was getting spread across each of our sites. So by introducing SWEAR, not only were we doing it in a way that was including normal everyday construction language, it was also bringing to the forefront those key eight risks and creating a consistent safety culture across our sites. To get our workplace involved in uh, the implementation of SWEAR, we started out by rolling out a, a Focus on Safety newsletter, which is a one-page, usually very visual newsletter, so that our site supervisors could use it as part of their toolboxes to communicate that this initiative was coming in place. The first one that came out just had the individual logos for each of the risks and it asked people what they thought they might relate to. So it started getting them thinking about a visual representation of the risks on site through a, a logo form. For the next uh, seven weeks after that, we started rolling out each of the individual risks, associating it again with a visual logo and a uh, usually about four points associated with that risk so that we could keep health and safety pretty simple. So instead of having health and safety as this big overarching idea, it brought it down to these eight key risks and each one was only sort of about three or four points to think about. As we rolled it out uh, through the toolboxes to our employers and subcontractors, we were also auditing the site to the new swear risks, so we were looking for those breaches and having those conversations while we're auditing on site. So because we can use taglines for swear like swear every day, swear for your mates, it's swear for, it's good for you, swear for your safety, uh, again incorporating that everyday construction language was able to make health and safety a bit more of a fun and interesting initiative.